as with any course that I like to do, the first thing that I like to do is go through and actually go through the prerequisites of the course. And as I mentioned in the previous lesson, it will probably be beneficial for you to have a basic understanding of the Swift programming language to get started here, but it's not a requirement. So you can head over back to Tuts Plus and take a look at that course to kind of get up to speed a little bit with Swift. But other than that, you really only have one basic requirement, and that's Xcode. And that's going to be your IDE that you're going to be using, your integrated development environment that you're going to need to do two things, to be able to write Swift code and to be able to target the iOS platform. Well, lucky for us, you can very easily get that by heading over to one of two places. And typically, you're probably going to head over to your web browser of choice and search for Xcode. And you're going to wind up here at developer.apple.com slash Xcode slash downloads. And what you're going to find out here is that you can actually download Xcode for free. And it's actually available to you on the Mac App Store. So if you head over to the App Store and just search for Xcode, as you see here, it'll take you to the page where you can actually download the appropriate version. Now, for what you're going to need is at least Xcode 6. Now, Xcode 6 is what introduced the Swift programming language to the world, so you're going to need at least that. And in order to install Xcode 6, you're going to have to be running at least Mavericks or Yosemite if you have it. I have Yosemite installed, but I have done a lot of this on both of those versions of the operating system. So either way, it should work out just fine. So all you'll need to do is click on the get button up here if it shows up, if you don't already have it installed and wait for a little while if you don't have it yet. It's a fairly sizable download. So depending on your internet connection speed, it could take a little bit of time, but it's not that bad of an installation. It's fairly simple. And once it's installed, you'll be able to get it all up and running and follow along just fine.